Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. My name is Margaret. I am a reselling homeschooling mom that flips things that I find at garage sales, estate sales, and thrift stores on eBay, Etsy, and other platforms to help support my family. And in today's video, I am going to be showing you a haul of some of the things that I got at the Goodwill outlet. Now, these are things that I got probably back in February or March because I haven't been in a while, but I have a shelf of stuff because I haven't shown y'all everything. I technically, I still have two tubs in my garage of things that I got from the bins the last time I went, probably in March. And so I am going to be sharing with you some of these things now. So that being said, my Goodwill outlet sells things a buck 49 a pound and anything that's breakable is 20 items for a buck 99. Now the items that I have here are not the breakable items. These are, I like to get a lot of vintage stuff. I, I, that's what I tend to lean towards. So when I'm at the bins, I'm not buying clothes. I'm buying hard goods, vintage items, basically anything I can sell, but it usually ends up being vintage stuff or breakables or like toys and things like that. Uh, so I've definitely got some, some cool things here. It's kind of a mix of vintage, antique even, and some new stuff. So I thought I would do this today with you guys. So hello, I am live. So hello in the chat. Hi, Dizzy, Angie. Hi, Julie, Thrifty Paper Garden. Uh, Harley Kitten says, just saw my first necklace. Thanks for all your videos. I'm so glad. And I am using Steamyard, so sometimes it's a little bit laggy as far as the how fast I see the comments. So just uh, if I don't see it right away, just wait for a second. And please also let me know if the stream is not great because my kids are playing video games. So we know how sometimes that can be a little bit iffy. All right, let's jump in. So, oh, and as we talk, I am going to be talking about my thought process on why I, I'm telling you the prices that I'm going to list things for because I don't always go off eBay solds, which I know a lot of people swear by, but I have my reasons and uh, they are that I don't just sell on eBay. So when I'm looking at prices, I kind of take a, a snapshot of lots of different places, eBay, what's up there, what's sold. There's so many different factors that to take into account when it comes to coming up with a price. Uh, and sometimes I do get the comment that, you know, my prices are crazy or whatever, but you know what, it works for me. And so that's what I do. Plus, sometimes the thing that you're trying to sell, there's not another one up there. You can't find anything like it. So I tend to price high and let it fly because it's you can always bring the price down, right? Okay, so hi, hi, everybody. Hello, hello in the chat. Uh, it is Saturday. Lola look like just happy Saturday. The days are running together, and I can't wait until I can actually go thrifting again. However, I do have a ton to list, and I still have stuff I can show you. So clearly, I'm not hurting for inventory. <laughs> All right, first step. Yes, I found these in the bins. So these are some long leather gloves. Uh, they are definitely vintage. The inside has the size on them. And they're also stamped, you can't really read it on this one, but they're stamped kid, that one says 45. The other one had it, um, kid gloves. So that's one up there. Um, so they're really super soft. These ones are long. And I did share, I'm going to share my screen. I know it bothers some people, but okay. Um, so here is, these are different ones on Etsy. I thought that would be probably a better place for me to look for starting a starting point for prices because I feel like, I mean, maybe people look on eBay for vintage gloves and stuff, but I have a feeling that this is going to do a lot better on Etsy. I'll still list it on eBay and Etsy and Mercari and Poshmark. It's still going to go everywhere. And then, um, but I'm probably going to price more like on Etsy realm, in the Etsy realm of pricing, because I think I'll be able to get the price that I want. Something is itching. And I says, I recognize those earrings catch and release. Yep. These are my earrings from yesterday. We named them Lafayette because they constantly confuse 
and confound the British henchmen. <laughs> so anyway, we had a bit of fun yesterday in the jewelry unboxing. So <laughs> back to the this. Let me jump back over here. Ah, wrong one. Here we go. <clears throat> so um, I see here like a pair of 50s long vintage kid gloves for 20 bucks. They're anywhere I'm on here from 15 to $40, just depending, some of them a little bit more. So chances are likely that I'm going to price these at about $20. And the reason being they're long and they're in really good shape for, for their age. So the, all those will go up for 20 bucks. Then <clears throat> I, I found another pair of gloves. There were, I'm sorry, there's like a cat hair or something in my, near my eye. There were a number of pairs of gloves, some that we couldn't find the mates for. So, but this was the other pair that we could find the mates for. And it has this really cool stitching along the edge. And these also are marked kid gloves and the size is in there. Where'd they go? Uh, where did it go? It was kind of down deep. There we go. It's down in there. So real kid size six and a half. Now these the the hems are kind of because it kind of is supposed to fold over you know it's tacked down in, in the, on one end but it's kind of flipping up so I'm trying to decide if I just leave it or if I should try to like iron it down I don't know that I want to do that that's so probably what I'll do is just you know take the pictures the best I can and then just note that the, you know the edges are kind of pulling up and leave it to somebody who's better at handling vintage leather goods than I am. So these are not as, is in as good condition. You can see they're worn in some places. Uh, so probably, but they've got this really cool feature here. So these will probably go up for about $15, maybe $17.99 because they're, I like the stitching. It's pretty cool. Okay, so that's that. Oh, and I forgot to mention, so probably on the, everything I got here, because I did get a couple books, I forgot to mention, books are, how much are they? 10 for a dollar, I think, five for a dollar? I can't remember. I don't usually get too many books, but I'll explain my book methods <laughs> when, I, when I get to the books, because one of them, it was a surprise for me when I was looking it up, oh my gosh. Because <laughs> I haven't looked at, you know, I just brought it in, stuck it on the shelf. I haven't looked it up yet. Boom, my eyes don't like that. Boom. Uh, Diane says, I do the second pair 20 and the first pair at 28. Okay. You don't have to twist my arm. I, I tend to like pr pricing a little bit higher. So, yeah. Ah, Leanne says, just closed down the thrift store. Time for a quick. Oh, okay. So, uh, that's what I'm doing on those. Okay, cool. So probably going in that direction with those. So next up, I got this little, it's not technically a Cupid doll, but it's a Cupid doll basically. Cupid is a brand and there's a whole, whole shebang behind it I just won't get into. So it's not a real Cupid doll, but it's a Cupid doll type doll <laughs> but it this one I know is vintage is made in Hong Kong and it's super light so I wasn't too upset about that it's not worth a ton but let's take a peek so I did find the same one on Etsy someone selling a herd of vintage cupid dolls is that the like technical term for a multitude of cupid dolls is a herd I don't know but I love it <laughs> so they're selling a herd of cupid dolls for 1850 so chances are I'm probably going to put mine up for about $12. My reason is somebody may not want a herd. They might just want one and they will get one and they're willing to pay a little bit more for that. QPS, yes. <laughs> Hi, Julie. She says, what are my biscuit? It's my favorite weirdo. <laughs> it's good to see you too. Okay. Um, do 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 checking 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 <laughs> I heard of QP sounds dangerous yes indeed and if you're watching this later consider subscribing and hitting the bell because there's wonderful people in the chat that you can hang out with and chat with they're so fun okay so 
so far we're looking at a good, I may have to raise my estimate as, as far as, cause I'm estimating that on these few items, I'll probably make 700 plus dollars and I maybe spent 20 maybe. So you'll see, here we go. Um, okay, next. <laughs> I'm trying not to show you the really big, cool, good thing yet, but I'm so tempted to. It's coming though, it's coming. I'm trying to save it, save the best for last, right? So next up, I got these in the bins as well. They are crocheted little coasters. And so I looked on Etsy and these, they're not selling for a ton. There's there's a bunch up there because people make them and sell them. But I, I have a feeling just based on the color uh, that they are vintage. So I'm going to go that realm with them. And I'm probably, as you can see, there's all different styles. There's all different colors. So my thought process here is I'm counting on somebody saying, that's not right. That's not right. I really want ones that are kind of like, they look like they've been tea stained, which is a good, uh, if you're looking, when you've got vintage like linens or vintage crochet lace, that kind of stuff. And they have that kind of beigey look like tea stained is a good like keyword for that because that's how they would dye them sometimes. Anyway, so I, I'm going to probably price these at $15 or so, may, maybe more, because I'm counting on somebody wanting this style, this color, because when you've got so many options and you're looking for something specific and you're like, no, that's not right, that's not right, that's what I want, that's the style, this is what I'm looking for, then they're gonna be willing to pay more so maybe I'll sell them for 20. I'll put them up for 20 to start. Um, Julie says, I sell vintage crochet doilies all day long, 10 for 10, for 10 to $20. Ah, sweet. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. <laughs> no, Lydia, we just started. I'm only showing a couple of things. You're good. <laughs> it's all good. I, I like the, the chat talking about the different definitions or groupings of dolls, a murder of dolls. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, Michelle's asking how many in the bag. There's four, which is low because I think I would like to have six, but I think four is a respectable amount as well. I mean, because do you really want more than four people in your house? I'm joking. Um, <laughs> I, yeah. All right. I'll just leave that there. So next, the next thing that I got, grab them, and I couldn't find anything just quite like it. Oh, you saw my mess. So these, they're business card file holders, but they're, that's N through Z. And thank goodness I found both of them, A through M. So they're, there's two of them and they go together. Two, two, two things in one. I can't think of what it's supposed to be. Anyway, they're for your business cards, but I'm sure there are many other uses for them. And I couldn't find anything just exactly like them. I didn't dig super hard, gotta be honest though. But I found one over here that's selling for 15. And then of course I'm finding like Rolodex type stuff. I'm sure if I were to dig a little bit deeper, I'd find, I, I just feel like I would find something more. But I'm probably gonna put these up for 20 bucks for the pair. They're in really, really, really good shape. I mean, just, they almost look like they haven't ever been used. So those are gonna go up for 20 bucks. That's awesome. Then, I think this is the next thing. I'm looking to make sure that I go. No, nope, it's not. Okay, so the next item is not vintage. So another thing that I look for at the bins are new in box stuff. And I had no idea what these were exactly. Tura Pure Hydrogen Water Filters. Clearly when I read it, I could figure out what they were. And so I checked inside the box and they were still sealed in there you know, bags like that. And so I grabbed them, I grabbed them up. So, and I got two of them. And when I looked these up, I was also very pleasantly surprised because they sell for a lot. So here we've got solds on eBay of Tura, Tura Pure hydrogen water filters. So I'm seeing one there that sold for 33 bucks. 
Uh, this one sold for 54. That one had free shipping. I don't do free shipping. So probably I'll end up posting mine for about 40, 45. I'm probably going to post them closer to 45, 50 now that I'm thinking about it. The reason is because I don't, you know, I don't do free shipping and I always like to have wiggle room for people to send best offers because they like, I don't know, people like to feel like they're getting a deal. So I get a lot of offers sent. So probably going to list one of the boxes for 50 bucks and then accept best offers. So where I've got them in the bins, Sherry. She said, where'd you find them? Yep. These are in the bins. So yeah, look for, I'm looking for vintage stuff. I look for new in box stuff. That's I just sold some water filters yesterday that I got in the bins. So they were not this style, but they, you know, like, Hey, let's do this. Okay. Next. What do we have next? I like the color of those water filters too. <laughs> so the next item I have is this wallet. All right. It's a Levi's wallet. I think it's vintage just from the style of it. It's red and blue. It's got the little Levi's tag here. Uh, and I found some similar ish. Let's see. I always click the wrong thing here. Um, oh, hang on. There's a question real quick. Let me come back over here. Um, Jen says, I thought I saw you put a video clips on eBay listings before. Am I crazy? Yeah. And I have a video on how to do it. So if you search through my videos on how to embed, and I think even if you search just YouTube, mine's probably one of the first ones that pops up how to put a video in eBay or how to embed a video in an eBay listing. There's totally, totally can do it. Um, no, sure. This, these are things I got probably back in February and I still have more. So I've been trying to dole it out little by little so that I've got stuff to share along the way. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, Jennifer says they came in all sorts of colors. Yes. <laughs> so here we go. Let me get back over here. So this was my search on Etsy and I see none, which guess what? I love because that means mine will be the only one. That is why I like to price high. So if somebody's like, I don't like eBay, I'm gonna be searching on Etsy or other places, then mine will be the only one that's there. So they'll pay if that's what they really want. So and it's in really good shape too. Y'all are saying this is totally 80s. Okay, so here's one similar-ish. The, the, the Velcro part is in a little bit of a different place. Um, this is on Vintage Boardwalk, and this sold for 28 bucks. And so, as you can see, mine, the it's like a, that one's like more like a billfold. This one's more like a trifold, if you know your wallet lingo. So, <laughs> make sure that's not the kids hollering up at me. Uh, so anyway, here, but here on eBay, you can see there's one that somebody's selling for $5.99, which I say no to. That's a hard no for me. So yeah, I mean, there's one that is like the other one that sold that was like 28 bucks. So what I am going to do, let me make sure I don't have another, no, okay. What I'm going to do is probably go ahead and put mine up for $25 or more, maybe more, $30, probably closer to 30 bucks because as you saw, there were none on Etsy. There were some on eBay. They were more like five or 10 bucks, but yeah, I'll, I'll address that on you. Um, yeah. So I'm going to be doing that because it's not everywhere if somebody's searching something else. And Andrea says, don't forget, don't use the word Velcro. It's hook and loop. Yes, because Velcro, you can get your eBay listing pulled down because of, what is it, Vero? I can't remember what the acronym is. Words you're not allowed to say on eBay. It's like George Carlin. The 10 words you're not allowed to say on, on TV. The 10 words you're not allowed to say on eBay. Vero. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Only now, all the not all the words, but probably some of them you can say on TV. Sorry, George Carlin, up there or down there, wherever you are. <laughs> okay, so probably gonna go up. I'll probably sell it. I'll probably put it up for 30 bucks. That's okay. That's that one. The next item, I'm gonna save the 
the book, one of the, I have two books I'm going to show you, but I'm trying to save them for the end. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you, I am not opening it again. Okay. Because I forgot. I remember when I got it and I opened it and then I closed it and I didn't open it again till now. This is the only problem I'm going to have. How am I going to take pictures of it? it? The smell inside this box, I was like gagging horrible smell. I don't even, just thinking about it. Look, so clearly it used to be at somebody's garage sale, but I got it in the bins, kind of heavy. <sighs> it's gross inside. It still has some of the things, first aid kit, medical supply company. It's got like a wall mount on it. It's got, and this is right up my kid's alley too. So my kids would love it. Only I can't stand the smell inside. It's horrible horrible but were it in better shape <laughs> that it would it would sell for a lot so here's a this is one that actually already sold it's saying you know 25 bucks on etsy but here it's saying this item sold out uh, but this one doesn't have all of the items inside of it and then there's one on ebay that's up for basically a hundred bucks and it has all of the stuff inside of it, like still nice and neat and probably doesn't smell anywhere near. I imagine brimstone to smell like what this smells like on the inside. It's so wretched. So I honestly am just on the fence. <laughs> it's not moldy. It's like old metal smell. You remember when you had Okay, those of you that were older, and you had the metal lunch boxes, and you didn't clean it out right away, and you left your food in there, and then you like it's it's worse than musty, and then you open it up, and that metal, that metallic, broady metallic, I don't even know, and then there's like a weird chemicaliness to it too, so, and that's the thing, like I don't want to clean it because exactly. Some people like that. I may have to take the pictures outside. Heather says leave it outside. I may have to take the pictures of it outside because it's wretched. But I might be able to sell it for 20 bucks, and I will definitely have to say it smells like brimstone. <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty bad. Okay. I have two more things that I was going to show you from the bins, but I'm going to wait. I pulled three items out of my shelf that I got at a like a regular Goodwill. So I'm going to show you those, and then I'm going to come back to my two bins items. So the next thing I got, and I don't know why I did this, or why I just didn't just pull all bin stuff, but I didn't. <laughs> um, where did it go? Where did it go? So the next thing is this uh, memory game, which I actually probably need to list. It would probably sell right now. Super Mario Memory, buck ninety nine. I got that at the regular Goodwill. Pardon me. Uh, and this one will probably these are these are sold. So and as you can see, these are pre owned. Pre owned ones sold for forty six dollars. Another one, and that one look doesn't have free shipping, whereas this one does thirty one. Uh, so I'll probably put this one up for $45 or so. Those are brand new, brand new, brand new, brand new, pre-owned. So yeah, I am going to do that. I didn't even check to see if they're still, no, they're not sealed. Okay. I'll have to double check that all the cards are there, but probably going to put that up for about 45 bucks. Paid two bucks for that. Next. <laughs> brimstone and sulfur, so I may actually have to smell like brimstone. Uh, yeah. Yes. I'm wondering where this, oh, donkey booty. I'm like, where is this discussion of donkey booty in the chat going? Or where is it coming from? <laughs> okay, so two more things that I got at regular Goodwill. Another thing I got, this is kind of heavy. How much was it? This was four bucks. Hang on. Let me explain why I bought it. Four dollars. And this is, um, it's a French company or thing made in china it says though but it is puzzle shape carrot i don't even know perhaps it's not 
French, French. Maybe it's Canadian French. But it's like a puzzle thing with like these houses and they're layered. It's weird and different. And I bought it. And so there, uh oh, hang on. I just did the wrong thing. There we go. The only one that was up is in the UK and it's selling for 21 bucks. So I like that. Mine would be the only one, let's say, but somebody wanted to get it, but they didn't want to pay international shipping or whatever. Then mine will be the only one that's there. So I'll probably put mine up closer to $30 just because. And it's cute. It's fun. So there's that. And then one other thing from the regular Goodwill. <laughs> Talking about smelling salts. Yeah. Oh, it's so bad. Um, okay. So this bunny I went and bought for $4. I don't think anything was on sale. It's one of these like pull toys, pull string toys. So four bucks may or may not have been the best buy, but I was like, well, let's give it a shot. Um, so there's one that's up for 30 bucks. I think it'll do okay. I mean, it's not exactly like that one. Let me look at sold. But I will also be able to put this on Etsy. For some reason, I didn't look it up on Etsy. Oh, look at that one's adorable. Anyway, so probably I'll put mine up around the same price as the other one that we saw that was about $30. Again, this is that, that mentality of, you know, well, I, I see all these different bunnies, but that's not the one I'm looking for. That's not what I'm looking for one that I had. And, oh, that's the one that looks just like the one I had growing up. Uh, that's sentimentality of wanting a particular style or look or whatever, you know, the same thing goes with some books. You know, people want the edition that they had because it reminds them of when they were growing up. All right. So I did get two books and here, let me get to not the best one. My, my strategy for picking up books in the bins, cause I don't know a lot of books that sell well, and I'm not a book scanner that sells on on um, Amazon or places like that. I look for vintage books, and I have sold some. And a lot of times, I just look for ones that look like more for decor, and it ends up being a really good strategy for me uh, because I I picked one up at the bins that just had a really cool like Art Nouveau cover i'll have to look back and see but i think it sold for like 75 dollars or something like that and i got it just because i was like oh i bet somebody would like that for decor because they want that old style look right so that was partially my strategy here this one wasn't amazing but i looked on the inside and this one was uh, made in 1900 1900 yeah and this one I didn't realize it at the time because it's not marked first edition, but it is a first edition. So 1900, I don't know this book or this author at all. Uh, but this one, let me get my page over here. I The prices are kind of all over the place. There's one that's at 24. Then there are some that are up for over 100. So like this one says it's the first edition one as well. So I have to figure out why some of them are pricing them over a hundred dollars and some of them are pricing them like $25. Maybe it's condition. This one's in really good condition for its age. So it could be anywhere between 30 and a hundred dollars. So there's that. <laughs> Hi shop girl. I'm so glad you made it though. So, Oh yeah. Heather says I sold old Bibles. Yeah. I, if I found them there, I would definitely pick them up. Oh, I did not realize that J M Bar. Barry, Barry, right, is the author of Peter Pan. How, I didn't realize that. I feel like I should know that. All right, I'm going to take a piece of, I'm going to take a piece of water. I'm going to, you heard it here first, people. You can now take a piece of water. All right, I got my piece. <laughs> the next thing, this is the one that when I was looking it up, my jaw hit the floor because I didn't look it up when I got it because I totally got it for the look because I thought, okay, this book has got that old book look. Somebody might want it for, like I said, decorations or, you know, that's why I'm willing to take a chance on a book that, you know, just looks like old, battered, kind of, not necessarily even battered, but just old. 
So this is Ruskin's work, Poetry of Architecture. As you can see, it is, it's in not the best shape. This one, the copyright, let me get there. And um, the copyright is 1890. This is the second edition, 1890. But let me share with you. <laughs> Heather says that would be ice. You got me there. Okay, so this book, <clears throat> where do I start? <coughs> Pardon me. It's a little dusty. So my first search, I put in, I feel like I look further back. Nope, that's it. So when I first searched Ruskin's work, Book of Poetry and Architecture, I saw these some of these prices, you know, $230, $554, $550 this set of them. And so I started digging deeper. Here's a, a volume set of his for $700. I couldn't find my exact one. So this is another one. This one's 1865 by John Ruskin, $405 for that book. This is one that is the same book as mine, but mine is older. So this is Ruskin's The Poetry of Architecture, 1893, and mine is 1890. And that one is up for sale for $500. So chances are, I mean, that one looks like it's probably in better condition than mine, or at least the cover. But, I mean, even as I dig, oh, I, I know I had more pages pulled up. I guess I didn't keep them all up. Um, so yeah, when I saw that, I was like, holy moly. Okay, I'm definitely going to price mine probably in that same realm of, you know, 500 plus dollars because why not, <laughs> right? Um, yeah, so that's my strategy for looking at looking at books in the Goodwill Outlet. And I was pleasantly surprised once again. So it's been working out for me. And even if it was something that wasn't going to be listed for $500, I would probably list it for $30 in case somebody wanted it for a decoration, you know, or stacking on their bookshelf to look like they have old books. I feel like my chat is really, really lagging. So I don't know if people are talking in the chat or not. So those are the items. I'm going to wait for a second and see if the chat catches up for just a sec. Pardon me. That I got. I'm pretty excited about the book. I'm pretty excited to. I I did check a books. I think one of the. I think one of the things I had up here was on a books. Was it not? Maybe it was one of the ones I closed out because I had a. I had way too many tabs open and I had to decide which to keep and which to not keep. But yeah, I didn't see this. I couldn't see this exact one anywhere. I even checked in the, you know, there were collections of the books. I was looking for this book in a collection of books and I couldn't find this collection. So it's definitely cool. The poetry of architecture. I need a rich architect for more than one thing, but mostly to buy this book <laughs> from me. <laughs> anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed. I probably should have grabbed more things because we could have gone a bit longer. But, <laughs> and this is, can't you just scan the ISBN? I kid, I kid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I will definitely let you know when it sells. Let me pull up the other book since we're, we were talking about that, that I sold, um, that I got in the bins, just to show like my, the strategy that I've been using lately for picking up. Uh, books. I like books, but, and I used to sell a lot more vintage children's books, but they, some of them don't sell for as much. And I was picking up a lot. Let me pull up book, book sold out. You can't see what I'm doing, but it's coming. Ah, okay. There's that one. It wasn't 70, it was 45, but there was another one that I got too. And maybe it sold on eBay. Darn. Let me look over there and see. Hang on. I'm sorry. I should have pulled this up first. Well, okay. I'll show you this other one too then. Just for fun. So, here we go. 
It's loading. Oh dear, I thought it'd be done. So this is the book I picked up in the in the bins that I was like, oh, that's a cool looking book. It just looks cool, right? It's got this Art Nouveau cover, my grandfather's chair, and the author was a Hawthorne who I had heard of, but this one ended up selling for 45 bucks, which was a really good sale. And then this was one, it's not, I mean, it's not technically a book book, but it's a flip book and it's a little Cheshire cat flip book. This is one I did a video for so people could see it flipping. And that one's, I think that one sold for like 20 bucks. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool, bins finds. Hang on, it just jumped. Oh, antiquarian bookstores will tell you if you email them. Ah, oh, yeah. So I don't know if your Goodwill outlet, if you have one, if they sell their books for cheap. I think it was, I think it's five books for a dollar. Maybe it's 10 books for a dollar. I can't remember because I don't buy a ton of books. Uh, oh, hello, Jane's a new watcher from the UK, at England. Hello, hello, thanks for being here. All right, so I'm really excited. I'm gonna really try to get some more of these things listed soon. I messed up a bunch of pictures. I was really kicking myself. I took a ton of pictures and then realized that the the lighting was more backlit. So when I went to edit, edit everything and put, oh, and so I had to go back and take, retake a bunch of pictures. And it just like, argh. I was so upsetting. Hello, Paula Sheck. Long time no see. Hello, hello. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm working on getting these other pieces of jewelry listed. And then this is going to go in my giant pile of other things to get listed. I have to switch it up. I can't just do jewelry, 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 jewelry all the time. You know, I did, I did comic books until I was like comic books coming out of my ears. And then I had to stop. So that's about it. Uh, so that'll be probably my next push to go through. Maybe I'll just rotate around my room. Jewelry, randoms. Comic books, jewelry, randoms. <laughs> and go from there. Okay. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I really enjoyed coming to uh, hang out. Oh, Vagabond, she's uh, saying something about the ear my earrings. Yeah, these are ones I got yesterday in the unboxing we did. And we named them Lafayette. Or I named them Lafayette. Anyway. <laughs> I've been watching Hamilton, so. All right, I hope you guys have a really great rest of your weekend. Maybe I'll come tomorrow and grab some more stuff off the shelf. Let me know what you think, because I can do another jewelry unboxing or I can grab some more stuff from the shelf over there to share with you tomorrow. And yeah, I hope you have a great weekend and stay safe out there. And I'll talk to you later. Bye everybody.